Detective Alex Harper had heard the rumors about the haunted interrogation room ever since he joined the small police station. Skeptical at first, he dismissed them as mere urban legends. However, curiosity got the better of him, and he decided to investigate further. Late one evening, as the moon cast an eerie glow over the station, Detective Harper found himself standing outside the foreboding door of the interrogation room. Taking a deep breath, he turned the cold metal handle and stepped inside. The room seemed normal at first glance, with its stark white walls and a table at the center. But as Detective Harper closed the door behind him, an icy breeze sent shivers down his spine. Ignoring the sudden chill, Detective Harper prepared himself to confront the ghostly presence. He took out a photograph of the murdered woman and laid it on the table. I want to help you find justice, he spoke softly, hoping to connect with the spirit. Suddenly, the room grew darker, the shadows dancing on the walls. Detective Harper's heart raced as he felt an unseen presence watching his every move. The temperature plummeted further, making his breath visible in the air. Whispers echoed through the room, growing louder and more menacing. In the midst of the eerie ambience, the photograph on the table fluttered, and Detective Harper watched in awe as the woman's face materialized above it. Her eyes, filled with anguish, locked onto his. The spirit began to communicate without words, projecting images and emotions directly into his mind. Through the spectral connection, Detective Harper learned the woman's name was Emily and that she had been brutally murdered years ago. The case had remained unsolved, leaving her spirit trapped within the confines of the interrogation room. Emily's desperation for justice and her longing for peace were palpable. Determined to help Emily find closure, Detective Harper delved into the archives, studying every detail of the unsolved case. Hours turned into days as he painstakingly pieced together the fragments of the past. With each discovery, he grew closer to unmasking the killer. As Detective Harper drew nearer to the truth, the hauntings in the interrogation room intensified. Emily's ghostly apparition became more frequent, sometimes appearing not only to suspects, but also to other officers. The station was alive with fear and unease. Finally, after relentless investigation, Detective Harper uncovered a vital piece of evidence, an overlooked witness who had crucial information about the night of Emily's murder. With this breakthrough, he confronted the killer and brought him to justice. In the aftermath, as the killer was led away in handcuffs, Detective Harper returned to the haunted interrogation room one last time. With a mixture of gratitude and sorrow, he spoke to Emily's spirit, assuring her that justice had been served. As he turned to leave the room, a soft breeze brushed against his cheek, accompanied by a whisper of gratitude. Detective Harper knew that Emily's spirit had finally found peace. From that day forward, the interrogation room ceased to be haunted. The chilling atmosphere dissipated, replaced by a sense of closure and tranquility. And though the memory of Emily's ghostly presence lingered, the station was forever changed by the courage and determination of Detective Alex Harper, who had helped lay a troubled spirit to rest. Officer Mark Reynolds was ecstatic when he was handed his first police badge, a symbol of honor, justice, and protection. Unbeknownst to him, the badge had a dark and cursed history that would soon consume his life. As Officer Reynolds pinned the badge to his uniform, a shiver ran down his spine, but he brushed it off as a mere coincidence. Little did he know that the badge had once belonged to a corrupt officer named Sergeant William Daniels. Consumed by darkness, Daniels had gone on a murderous rampage, taking the lives of innocent people before ending his own in a fit of guilt and madness. Within days of wearing the cursed badge, Officer Reynolds started experiencing terrifying visions. Haunting images of blood-soaked crime scenes flashed before his eyes, accompanied by the anguished cries of the victims. 
The voice of Sergeant Daniels echoed in his mind, taunting him with disturbing whispers, urging him to follow in his deranged footsteps. Unable to distinguish reality from the cursed illusions, Officer Reynolds' sanity began to crumble. Consumed by the darkness that clung to the badge, he found himself compelled to commit heinous acts, driven by an insidious force beyond his control. He became a puppet, manipulated by the vengeful spirit of Sergeant Daniels, his actions mirroring the crimes of the past. As Officer Reynolds fell deeper into the grip of the curse, the police department witnessed an unprecedented rise in violence and brutality. Officers who had worn the badge before met untimely and gruesome fates, their lives cut short by a malevolent force they couldn't comprehend. Word of the cursed badge spread within the department, striking fear into the hearts of those who knew its history. Yet, despite efforts to contain it, the badge had a way of finding its way into the hands of unsuspecting officers, perpetuating the cycle of horror. Desperate to break the curse, Officer Reynolds embarked on a relentless journey to uncover the truth behind the badge's dark past. He delved into police records, seeking answers and searching for any information that could help him break free from the clutches of the malevolent spirit. His investigation led him to an old and forgotten journal, tucked away in the depths of the police archives. Within its pages, Officer Reynolds discovered the journal entries of Sergeant Daniels, chronicling his descent into madness and the source of his malevolence, the badge itself. Armed with newfound knowledge, Officer Reynolds devised a risky plan. He sought the help of a renowned paranormal expert who specialized in cleansing cursed artifacts. Together, they performed a harrowing ritual, combining ancient incantations and spiritual energy to sever the bond between the badge and the spirit of Sergeant Daniels. The ritual was intense, pushing Officer Reynolds to the brink of his physical and mental limits. But in the end, their efforts paid off. The cursed badge, once a conduit for evil, lost its grip over Officer Reynolds, releasing him from its malevolent influence. With the curse broken, peace finally returned to the police department. The badge, stripped of its dark power, was locked away in a secure vault, where it would never harm another officer again. Officer Mark Reynolds, scarred by his experience, decided to leave the police force, haunted by the memories of the curse. He vowed to use his newfound knowledge to protect others from similar fates, dedicating his life to studying and combating dark artifacts. And so, the cursed badge became a reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, a cautionary tale for those who believed they could conquer evil. Its legacy served as a chilling reminder that sometimes, the greatest battles were fought not with guns and uniforms, but with courage, determination, and the strength to resist the temptations of darkness. Deep within the heart of an isolated forest stood the decaying remains of an abandoned police station. Its once vibrant halls were now filled with silence, broken only by the whispers of chilling legends that echoed through the surrounding trees. The tales spoke of tormented souls, criminals who had met their demise within those very walls. The spirits, it was said, yearned for revenge, their anger and anguish forever etched into the ethereal fabric of the forsaken station. Intrigued by the rumors, a group of adventurous urban explorers, led by Emma, decided to venture into the abandoned police station. Armed with cameras, audio recorders, and their unyielding curiosity, they planned to document their experiences and unravel the mysteries within. As dusk descended upon the desolate landscape, casting long shadows that danced in the fading light, the explorers stepped cautiously through the creaking entrance. The air grew heavy, laden with an otherworldly energy that sent shivers down their spines. Almost immediately, the group was enveloped in a thick fog, obscuring their vision and distorting their perception of reality. The temperature plummeted abruptly, breaths turned visible, and unease settled upon them like a suffocating cloak. 
Mysterious shadows darted across the walls, flickering in the corners of their eyes. Whispers, faint but unmistakable, whispered malevolently from unseen sources. It felt as though the very fabric of the abandoned police station was alive with the vengeful presence of the departed criminals. Emma, determined to capture evidence of the supernatural, pressed forward despite the rising trepidation within her heart. She led her team through the labyrinthine corridors, each step echoing like a heavy toll, drawing them deeper into the nightmare. Suddenly, the entrance they had come through vanished before their eyes, replaced by an impenetrable wall. Panic surged through their veins as they realized they were trapped, held captive within the clutches of the spirits seeking retribution. The criminals' tortured souls materialized, their spectral forms taking shape within the confines of the station. Faces twisted with rage, they lurked in the shadows, their moans of despair filling the air. The explorers were now prisoners in a malevolent purgatory, facing the wrath of the very souls they had sought to document. Desperation compelled the group to search for an escape, but each door they opened led only to another nightmarish corridor, each passageway more foreboding than the last. It seemed as if the spirits reveled in their torment, relishing the fear and anguish they instilled. Time lost meaning as the night stretched on, an eternity of terror. The explorer's spirits wavered, hope flickering like a dying flame. But Emma, refusing to surrender to despair, clung to a glimmer of determination. Drawing upon her courage, Emma pieced together the tragic stories of the deceased criminals, their pain and suffering etched into her soul. She realized that the only way to break free from the grip of the spirits was to uncover the truth and offer them solace. Through relentless investigation, Emma unveiled the untold secrets buried within the abandoned police station. The spirits' tragic stories of injustice, betrayal, and suffering were brought to light, revealing the depth of their pain. Driven by empathy and the need for redemption, Emma approached the restless spirits, offering understanding and a voice for their grievances. In an act of courage and compassion, she pleaded for forgiveness on behalf of the living, promising to bring justice to their stories. As the last echoes of her words faded, a profound silence settled over the station. The spirits, their wrath appeased by the compassion shown to them, began to fade away, their ethereal forms dissipating into the ether, finally finding a semblance of peace. With the departure of the vengeful spirits, the oppressive atmosphere that had consumed the abandoned police station lifted, as if a weight had been lifted from its very foundations. The fog dispersed, revealing the path to the exit that had previously been obscured. Emma and her fellow explorers, filled with a mixture of relief and awe, made their way through the now tranquil corridors. They emerged from the station, stepping out into the moonlit forest, the night air cool against their skin. They carried with them not only the memories of the harrowing ordeal they had endured, but also a newfound appreciation for the power of empathy and the importance of seeking justice for the forgotten souls of the past. Word of their encounter spread, and the abandoned police station became a place of cautionary tales and respect. No longer did thrill-seekers venture into its haunted halls, for they now knew the price of trespassing on the realm of restless spirits. In time, the abandoned police station became a place of remembrance. Efforts were made to preserve its history and honor the lives that had been lost within its walls. The stories of the departed criminals served as a reminder of the depths of human suffering and the importance of addressing the injustices that can lead to such despair. Emma, forever changed by her encounter, dedicated herself to investigating cold cases and seeking justice for the forgotten victims. She became a beacon of hope, shining a light on the darkest corners of society, ensuring that no soul would be left unheard or forgotten. As for the abandoned police station, it stood as a silent testament to the power of compassion and the enduring legacy of those who had once walked its corridors. It would forever be a place where the boundary between the living and the departed was thin, 
a place where the past whispered its tales to those who dared to listen. And so, the abandoned police station became a beacon for those who sought truth, reminding them of the lingering spirits of the past and the importance of bringing light to the shadows. Officer Adams, haunted by the memories of the atrocities committed during her possession, sought solace in therapy and the support of her fellow officers. She underwent a long and challenging journey of healing, grappling with the guilt and remorse that weighed heavily on her soul. Through their unwavering support and understanding, her colleagues stood by her side, helping her rebuild her life and find redemption. As the years passed, Officer Adams dedicated herself to raising awareness about the dangers of dark forces and the potential for objects to carry malevolent energy. She became an advocate for proper cleansing and precautions when dealing with objects connected to violent crimes or paranormal phenomena. Her harrowing experience with the possessed patrol car served as a cautionary tale for law enforcement agencies prompting them to implement strict protocols for handling items with dark histories. Officers were trained to recognize signs of paranormal influence and to take immediate action to neutralize any potential threats. The neighborhood slowly regained its sense of security, but the memory of the terrifying spree would forever linger in the hearts and minds of its residents. They remained vigilant, always watchful for signs of lingering darkness, ready to support one another and report any suspicious occurrences. Officer Adams, now retired from active duty, continued her work in the field of paranormal research and assisting other law enforcement agencies in dealing with cases involving supernatural elements. Her unique perspective and first-hand experience made her a valuable asset in the pursuit of justice, even in the face of the inexplicable. The possessed patrol car, now reduced to a cautionary tale, served as a reminder of the fragile line between order and chaos and the importance of remaining vigilant in the face of darkness. Its remnants were forever banished, a symbol of triumph over evil and a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. In the end, Officer Adams found a way to reconcile her past and transform her painful journey into a force for good. She vowed to honor the memory of the victims and to ensure that no one would ever have to suffer the horrors she endured. Through her courage, resilience, and unwavering determination, she became a beacon of hope, proving that even in the darkest of times, there is a path to redemption 